Hello, global thinkers. Welcome back to our channel, Think Bricks, your compass for multipolar world. Today, I would like to talk to you about a case that has been insignificantly talked about in Europe and across the Atlantic Ocean. SCO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit that took place in New Delhi on July the 4th. Among all statements about friendship, economic ties and security issues, there was one that attracted a close attention. Islamic Republic of Iran became a member of this organization. Now you might be wondering, what's all this about? Let me tell you. Let's start with a bit of historical preview. As a CEO was founded in 2001, as an economic alliance between Russia, China, India, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Pakistan, Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan. If you glance to the map, you'll probably see that those countries are covering a really big territory in the Central and South Asia. Now, for those who might not aware of what the country is, Iran, I'd like to give a brief overview. Iran, an Islamic country with a rich centuries-old history and strategic geopolitical position that has been under U.S. sanctions for decades, 43 years to be accurate, since 1979. Who is interested in this story may find lots of info about it. Economic sanctions consequently brought to political isolation. Iran has never been a part of any political group or alliance ever since. And few days ago it happened. Iran became the ninth member of Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Iran has been an active participant in the SCO since 2005 and submitted an official application to join the group in 2006. According to reports in Tehran Times and Press TV, Iran's involvement means the failure of the isolation policy. But what does this mean for the Islamic Republic and the SEO group of countries? And what will be another step? Iran's potential membership in BRICS is being seriously considered by leading member countries. Why? Because Iran's geopolitical position and capabilities make it and valuable partner. But it is not only about what Iran can gain from the BRICS and the SCO, but also what Iran can offer. If you don't mind, let's start the discussion in the comments below. We are curious to read your views and opinions about this matter. Of course, after years of sanctions and economic crisis, Iran's main goal is to align with the BRICS countries, who would turn down the opportunity to have stronger economic ties with half the world's population and to access funds from the New Development Bank. This would be a huge growth point for Iran. However, joining these groups is not just a mere formality, as some might think taking into account that Russia, India and China are the most powerful players in both the SEO and BRICS. It will certainly require Tehran to align major goals and probably making tough decisions. But Iran seems ready to meet these challenges. As Iran's foreign minister Hussein Amir Abdullahin stated, quote, Iran will not miss any opportunity to secure our national interests. That's quite a statement, don't you think? But what do we see about all these movements? Well, Iran's membership in the SCO and potential membership in the BRICS could mean a change in the global political landscape and could widen the current rift between the global south and west, challenging the existing world order. Iran's position in the Middle East starts getting stronger. Just one data point. Diplomatic relations between Iran and Egypt are about to be renewed, and Saudi Arabia, America's main partner in the Gulf has also taken an important step towards Iran after years of tensions between two countries. In fact, thanks to China's mediation, Iran reopened its embassy in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia after seven years. This is a tectonic shift that we will have to follow closely. And breaking news, President Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa has sent an official invitation letter to the President of Iran to visit the BRICS summit in Johannesburg in August this year. What will happen next? We'll sit together. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about all of this? Do you think Iran's potential membership in these groups will have a significant 
impact on global politics. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends. Stay tuned for further updates, stay curious and stay with us. Thanks for watching.